it's time for another book review. That's not my video introduction. I don't have a video introduction. This is my bed. This is where I'm going to be doing book reviews. Mostly because I'm lazy. Which is a little bit cool. It's so comfy. Who needs a bookcase when you've got a bed? This is my hair. Looking really, really messy. I just got back from work and I'm just... I just want to sleep. But I can't. Because I want to do this more. So the first book that I'm going to review on my channel. Pride of Place. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. There are going to be spoilers in this video, so I would suggest you don't watch from about now. This is one of my August buys. I put it in my book haul video, which was actually also my introduction video, multitasking. I really enjoyed this book. It was the feels. So sad. I loved Mia. I loved how from the beginning I was hooked when Mia got up after the car accident. I thought the same as everyone else. You know, she's fine. And then when she saw that hand. But when I get closer, I see the metal glint of a silver bracelet with tiny cello and guitar charms. Adam gave it to me for my 17th birthday. It's my bracelet. I was wearing it this morning. I looked down my wrist. I'm still wearing it now. When you read that, I think one would automatically assume that she's dead. When the ambulance men and women come and they tell you that she's in a comatose state. It's when the book gets really interesting. Let's talk about the relationship between Mia and Adam. Other than the fact that he's the he's a popular boy and she is a quiet girl, she doesn't care about being popular, she cares about her cello. So you just wouldn't put them together. One of my favourite parts in the book was definitely when Adam was around Mia's house and he asks her to play him like a cello. So cheeky. I reached for the bow and brushed it across his hips. I imagined the bridge of the cello would be. I played lightly at first and then more force and speed as the song now playing in my head increased with in intensity. Adam lay perfectly still, little groans escaping from his lips. I looked at the bow, looked at my hands, looked at Adam's face and felt a surge of love, lust and a familiar feeling of power. Oh, to be young. Ah, oh, to be young, Tiga. You're ancient. I would say that the saddest part of If I Stay was when Mia finds out that her little brother, Teddy, has died. We only saw them together at the start of the book and sometimes in the memories that were slotted through the book. Not like we saw her with her parents. We didn't get the feel of their relationship until it was over. Um, the saddest paragraph is probably this. Teddy's never going to graduate from t-ball to baseball. He's never going to grow a moustache. He's never going to get into a fist fight or shoot a deer or kiss a girl or have sex or fall in love or get married or father his own curly haired child. And then my favourite part and the perfect ending to this book. And I love, 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 love when a book has a perfect ending. Was when Adam was with Mia and she doesn't want to get persuaded to come back to life. And then he puts headphones on her and he's playing cello music. I'm crying and it's just... Amazing. It's just so amazing. Another really clever part was then when she gets that blast of memories and also future thoughts of what could be. She's visiting the cemetery and she sees three graves. She hears herself being called an orphan. But then on the other hand, she's with Adam again. She is walking in New York with her best friend. And then what well, the ending was perfect. Now I really, really need to buy where she went. I need to know what's happening. Need to. If I were to give this a rating out of five, five being the top, one being the lowest, I would give this four because I did enjoy it. I actually ended up reading it just in one day. Thank you for watching my first book review and I'll see you later.